So here is a contextual problem asking us to determine the unknown length of a rectangle. So it tells us that it's a rectangle, that's important, and it tells us the width, and it tells us the area. So we know that the area of a rectangle is length times width. So given that we need the length, we need to use area divided by width in order to get our unknown value. So since this is my area, area divided by width is going to look like this. Now since this is a rational expression or a fraction, we know that we can't divide. Instead, we need to change this into a multiplication and turn this into its reciprocal, which basically means to turn it upside down so that we'll be multiplying by 3x plus 24 over x plus 10. So when performing operations on rational expressions and equations, we know we need to factor first to make it easier. So I'm going to do this left hand side first and I end up with 2x plus 10 over 3 2x plus 5. Now I'm going to have a look at the right hand side over here. I'm going to take 3 out as a common factor and I end up with x plus 8. And my x plus 10, I can't simplify that any further. Now we need to simplify by cancelling out common terms that are in the numerator and the denominator like this 3. One exists at the top and one down the bottom so we can cancel as well as the x plus 10. So we're left with a 2 and an x plus 8 up the top and 2x plus 5 down the bottom. Now we need to consider our restrictions, especially given that this is a contextual problem. Okay, it exists in reality. So we need to have a look what x cannot equal. To do this, we need to look at our denominators because our denominator can't be zero. Now this is where some people get tricked when we're doing division because this term here was actually this one. So this is the original denominator and that's what we need to look at. This is actually 3x plus 8. Now here that cannot equal 0, so therefore x cannot equal negative 8. So negative 8 is one of our restrictions. And from this one here we have 2x equaling negative 5. So x is negative 5 on 2, so that is the second of our restrictions. So the overall answer to the problem is the length of the rectangle is 2 by x plus 8 over x plus 5, where x cannot equal negative 5 and 2 or negative 8. This must be included for contextual problems because if x was one of these values, the solution would not exist.